Hi, everybody. Welcome back to a very special edition of Comics Play. We are going to do our first Super Mario game. I am Justin Thompson. Along with me is Alan Potts, who is on Tumblr right now. Uh, <laughs> I am not on Tumblr. <laughs> I'm wa if, you, if you must know, I was watching something that had naked ladies, and I now regret not paying it. <laughs> because that doesn't make it any better. Welcome. This is Dinosaur Land. In this special land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again. <laughs> Looks like Bowser is at it again. Oh, Bowser! Damn it, Bowser. Oh, you trickster, you... You know, it's not even on him anymore. It's Princess Peach. She wants... She does this all the time. How many... Like... You think the Secret Service would know better. <laughs> Like, she's royalty, right? So she must have yeah. some kind of security detail. And then, are they asleep at the wheel? Ah, uh, maybe. And then we have Yoshi. Hooray! We got a Yoshi! Alright. Woo! But, uh, I don't know. I, like, I, uh, there's this theory. I, I didn't come up with this. So, don't, don't quote me and think that I did. There's this theory that, uh... Socially relevant. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's this theory that, uh, that Mario is actually the bad guy. That, like, like he's, like, the jealous ex-boyfriend who won't ever leave Bowser, the new boyfriend, and, and Princess Toadstool, the girlfriend, alone. He's always breaking into their children's houses and, like, beating them up. Are they over here? Are they... I want to see him! And they're like, they're not here! And he's like, <laughs> And finally, he just gives in and breaks the restraining order and goes to the castle itself <laughs> and beats up Bowser again. And then she has to act all happy because she's really fucking scared and depressed. <laughs> it, like, almost says Stockholm Syndrome because fucking Mario won't leave her alone. She just cannot leave Mario. Oh, no, 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 it's that, it's that she had, she has left Mario years ago, right? Uh -huh. She left him years ago, and now she is with Bowser, right? Bowser is the new bow or whatever. Uh, <laughs> the new bow. <laughs> oh, I thought you said the new hoe. No, like, the new bow. Oh, hey, Bowser's a damn down-ass bitch. I... Yeah, and Bowser and her are together, and have been together right. for, like, years. But Mario keeps periodically, like, getting drunk or fucked up, and pops back up and is like, is like he's like, you, you stole her from me! The princess is gone again! And he's like, dude, she's been gone for years. And then he just goes and tries to fuck up the castles and beats up their children and shit. Because that's always, like, part of it. It's like, you know, before you can ever go to the actual castle where Bowser and <laughs> Princess are, you have to go fuck with their children for, like, <laughs> eight levels. Jesus. <laughs> But uh, the, another theory I got from uh, online about this stuff is that he only ever had the one adventure, and everything else is just him telling stories about that one adventure. Like, which one's the one where they're in front of a... Uh, they they start off on a stage? Oh, that's uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. There you go. I, arguably the best one. Uh, this, that one and Super Mario World, which we're playing now, are, uh, in my mind, the two best Mario games that have ever existed. And it, uh, it's just them retelling. It's just Mario retelling the same story over and over again. Like it's a play and shit like that. And he just cannot let go of the past. And that's the only moment of glory he ever had. That's a that's a good that's a good theory. Yeah, and like <clears throat> this is one of the only ones that actually does not take place in the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, did you know that? I did not. Where yeah. is this taking place? This is taking place on Dinosaur Island. Ah. That's where that's where Yoshi lives on Dinosaur Island. Hey, look, look rare. Look at what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm cashing in. <laughs> look at all this cool stuff. Look familiar? Yeah. Hope so, because I'm still around. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and 
uh... It looks like he's hanging out in pleated pants. Like, <laughs> like... He's just... This wow, that fucking... does not look good. That looks like Mario is fucking Yoshi in the ass. And he is screaming out in pain! <laughs> Screaming cap it, guys. That's your new, uh... That's your new phone wallpaper. You don't have to like it, but you can't argue with it. Oh god. Okay. On that note, you've got it. You got to level. <laughs> okay, send me in. Put me in, coach. Put me in, coach. So I, uh, I didn't tell you this. I chose a team to follow this year. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 in the feet balls. Yeah, in the feet balls. Oh, okay. And, uh, throwing the old pigskin around. Okay, who did you, know, you choose? The Washington North Americans. The Washington North Americans, yes. huh? You're gonna be the Washington North Americans. Yes, that's the team I've chosen because uh, I spent a long time in. Uh, <laughs> you, should, you should name the OAs, the original Americans. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I, I just. And I have a bet going on at work. With a girl I work at, that if I that I might that they don't have to win very much, but as, if they come out ahead of her team, then uh, she has to make me a scepter and crown. By, by the way, I, I work with adults. <laughs> okay, like, what? Who, who's her team? Uh, I believe it might be the uh, the Saints. The Saints. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You, na name me one one uh, member of the uh, Washington original Americans. The, you know I can't do that. <laughs> They're all just numbers to me. <laughs> They're all numbers. Uh, you know what's sad? One of them, the the quarterback has a number in his name. Uh, oh, Ocho Cinco? No. Damn it. No, you're... But, you're, but it's, it's good that you know one football player like that. No, Roethlisberger? it's Roethlisberger? Uh, no, that's Packers, and he was he was packing something. That, that was That's not Packers at all. Uh, <laughs> fact, that, oh, damn it. Is that, that is the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> they're stealing stuff, all right. <laughs> Little boy with butthole virginity. <laughs> no, uh, uh, RG3, Robert Griffin the Why would I know that? I don't know. What's this? You know what? <laughs> like, uh, I mean, look, I, I, mean, I will be, be the first to tell you I don't know anything about football. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I, like, I forgot that we had a conversation and that you thought Terry Bradshaw and Michael Strahan were the same person. They, I, I, I still <laughs> I forgot, and now I realize that after that conversation, I still didn't know who they were exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like, it's Michael Stray was Terry Bradshaw. I don't know who I'm watching harass Kelly Ripa, but I know I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I was like, he's like, yeah, he's like, he's a, Terry Bradshaw's a black guy, right? I also get a lot of <laughs> my... the morning show. No. <laughs> he has a show, and I know that I watch it in the morning because they won't let me change the channel. I, I want to watch the, uh, the fucking, the morning show with that Robin Mead, but I can't, so we have to watch Sports Center. You're not a Rachel Ray person? No. Oh, come on, She's, she cooks well, right? She does cook well, but it's, I, I, she just bugs me. Really? I couldn't give you a rational <laughs> Is it just me, or does she kind of have, like, an odd smile? Like, it's not, it's not, oh, God, she lost you. Yep, I'll get him back. Yeah, I'm sure. But, uh, this part of the game's, like, really easy. A lie. This part of the game's really easy, so it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, but, like, no, it's, she has, she has kind of an odd smile. Uh, not that, it, not that there's anything wrong, particularly, with her smile. Um... It's just that, I don't know, it's, it's almost too big to me. Does that make sense? Yes. Like, it's, uh, it's too there. You should go. You should just go. You should just keep going. Because, <laughs> not down like that. <laughs> but, I don't know how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> it, 
in real life which and on weird. Dinosaur Island. Which is weird for you. Uh, uh, damn sorry. it, you feel good about yourself? No, I do not. I do not feel good about myself at all. Uh, I took a cheap shot, shot, and I admit it. I'm willing to say that that line is fucking probably really hack, and I'm sorry. That's, if that, Donald that's Trump, not that hard to do, is it? If Donald Trump <laughs> would do it, don't do it yourself. <laughs> yeah, I did. I hacked Donald Trump. I'm sorry. I admit it. Uh, I hope to move on with this situation. And uh, become a better person about my life. Uh, whatever. Fucking... Can, can I give it a try? No! <laughs> <laughs> this is just a matter of principle at this point now. Yeah. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, my lack of football knowledge. Yeah, it's almost like... football season at the filming of this one. And it's when does it start? Like in, uh, It starts in like two weeks. So two weeks, and we live in Texas, so... Like, it, it's a pretty big fucking deal. Yeah. That football. And I'm just tired of not having adult conversations at work. I'm like, hey, you guys excited about that uh, about that new Final Fantasy game? No. No one's excited about the new Final Fantasy game except me. <laughs> and I just want to connect with people. Is that so wrong? <laughs> like, they're not gonna... They're not gonna pick up Final Fantasy. It's easier for me to pick up football than for them to pick up Final Fantasy. Yeah, it is. They don't have... They, most of them don't have the equipment for that shit. <laughs> no, most of them have kids and divorces. Yeah. And shit, just the, just other stuff on their mind, like you know, whatever. Like, oh man, how'd your how'd your team do last night? They played. They played. Wow. Uh. Yeah, I th I think you should I think you should learn a couple of names though, at least for. I know that continuity's sake. I know that if I look like I'm kind of paying attention, I can Google things on my phone really quickly <laughs> and that keeps me it doesn't make me the best but it keeps me alive okay yeah that's true i guess eh, i don't want to do all this shit i could go through and i could get every little thing and show you what a mario master i am but sometimes it's just more fun to just run through the motherfucking levels <laughs> he's like yeah you know what fuck it why is this tennis court under lava? <laughs> well, well, you know, Iggy, uh, Iggy Koopa has, uh, some fucking really weird, uh, ritualistic things that he likes to do with lava and tennis courts. Uh, she said Iggy is alien. I was with you for a second. Yeah, been... Iggy is alien does seem like the type of bitch that would have lava in her house. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh, what? You know, the first time I, uh... <coughs> the first time I ever heard that song, uh, the I'm So Fancy song, I thought the person doing the chorus was, uh, was, uh, uh, fuck, Gwen Stefani. And it, like, really still sounds like it. On a completely different note, I love that this boss has complete confidence in his ability to get to his kitchen in the dark. Mm -hmm. Because of all these fucking booby traps that he can apparently navigate. No problem. Oh, you only saved his friends. That, uh, that castle's da -da 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 -da. Castle's still full of contract workers. <laughs> <laughs> they were doing an addition. That tennis court was not finished! <laughs> well, clearly, the lava hadn't set yet. Yeah. Magma. Alright, guys. Uh, that's level one. We will see you uh, next time on I'll Comics Play. Play this part. Welcome back to Comics Play, where we left off two seconds ago. Alan Font, Justin Thompson. Uh -huh. This is Mario video number two! Yep, and let me see how quickly I can lose the power-ups you got us. <laughs> well, you did shoot just now. You shot the fucking... The, uh, the feather that makes you fly, so... 
<laughs> well, shit. <laughs> you gotta jump on. Oh, that was very, that was very good. Oh, look, football player. I, I recognize the helmet. Okay. <laughs> I, I know that much. Let's see if you can kill him again. Nope, there he is. <laughs> Can I not kill that guy? No, you can. You can. It's just that you have to have a power. You can't just be blinking. <laughs> I thought my power was Mario. <laughs> Go up that toad. Shit, 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 balls. God damn it. Everybody has superpowers. Yeah, but everybody does. My superpower is super plumbing. Okay, the objective is, yeah, there you go. Keep, keep blocking, knocking the blocks. <laughs> yeah, I only got us a free man. Now do it again. I have now okay, now fuck that one. Okay, fuck that one. Yeah, I only got us a second free man. And a third! Way to go, Alan. You skipped like three, but you got three, so that's not bad. So now I'm exactly where we left off last time in terms of lives. Ah! <laughs> oh, there you go. There's you an extra hit. I love, I love to watch... You can't eat those are too big. <laughs> I love to watch Chris Pratt handle Yoshi. <laughs> God damn it, I got stuck in this crevasse. Alright, okay, let me try this. No! Hang on, wait, 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 well, wait, well, now we can do the dying thing back and forth. We can just. It'll be easier. Then, like, okay, I'll play three levels, and then you can play three. You know. I like to imagine this is all taking place in rural Mexico. <laughs> Why Mexico? Because it's mountainy, and you can apparently kill things with wild abandon, and nobody's gonna say anything. That's a good point. Alright. Whee! What a bullshit power. <laughs> oh, look, I got a blanket. Fucking faggot. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> really mad that I missed that power up because it's super it would have made this level a lot easier. <laughs> that was that was really like <laughs> I I don't know how to audit my anger and for that I apologize. <laughs> oh there it is. Yeah this this part you missed it would have been super fun if you had it. What's the basics behind? What what is the physics behind this Mario? Uh, it's like uh, the hang gliding principle. He's really humping his way through Dino Land. Yep. Boop. Wait, a hang Boop. gliding principle? Yeah. It's which means we it's, don't know how it works. It's just working. It's, it's Newton's <laughs> Newton's law of perpetual hang gliding. <laughs> Newton does. Newton wasn't into like making Mountain Dew and shit, so that's bullshit right off the bat. I don't want you giving our listener bad science. Okay, fine. Stephen, if you're listening, that's not a thing. He's made that up. Let's see if I can get back up there. Oh, oh. oh look, I'm going off screen. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. What about Newton's law of extreme mountain biking? What about that one? <laughs> What does it have to say about physics there, champ? <laughs> well, uh, well, the mountain biking does not come in until the Wii versions. Uh, so, we don't have to worry about that. Here, right? Let's right see. Now. Anything in motion stays in motion. Anything at rest stays at rest. And anything in motion stays in motion unless acted on by an outside awesome? Yes. God damn it, you can't hit it, but you can fucking eat a fire flower? You can hit it. You can't jump on it, but you can either shoot it with fire, it's yourself, or... How about those these guys have such a clear understanding of warfare? Ah! Like guns. Ah! Ah! <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> That's because I rock! I ran. Uh, Alright. There's actually two ways to beat that level. Uh, Honestly, yeah. and your way. 
Honestly, in your way. This ought to be good. I'm in a lava world, huh? Yep, and the screen's gonna keep pushing forward. So you can't ever go back. Feels like my parents' house when I moved out. Yeah, kinda. It's like, well, you're 18. Over there now. <laughs> <laughs> Later, asshole! <laughs> Gotta start doing your mom regularly now. <laughs> you know how long it's been since I've been able to buy lube? It was weird, weirdly enough, that was the mailman. I don't know. <laughs> that was the mailman. <laughs> I don't know why he feels comfortable talking to me like that. <laughs> I'm a real daddy boy. Firstly, no. And secondly, I wish, because that is a government pension, my friend. <laughs> Shit, balls, fuck. No, no. No! Whoa, my god, flying cucumbers. Hey, you need to live by your daddy's philosophy. Fuck bitches, deliver letters, make money. <laughs> fuck bitches, deliver letter, make money. <laughs> Am I being crushed by, by treasure? Uh... I don't, I don't know what those things are. I don't know if they're gold, like actual gold, or what, but I know it, I know it crossed you. That's all I know. Dude, those, uh, those, those turtles always freak me the hell out. Yeah, these aren't actually turtles. I can't remember what these are called. Expendable? <laughs> I think well, those mountains of gold. That, they could be mountains of gold. Um, there is a really big divide in the in the wealth on Dinosaur Island. <laughs> like this guy has so much wealth, he's made it a booby trap. <laughs> he, he's like if Saddam Hussein was also kind of into Scrooge McDuck like tactics. <laughs> that would be safety. awesome. <laughs> Fuck you and your bullshit. <laughs> You're knowing how to play. Cock sucker. Ah. Yeah, you kill that That's cucumber. Not how much money do you have to have before you just start saying, you know what, I could probably kill somebody with this? I don't know, honestly. Well, I mean, you can kill people now with enough money, but that's not, not the way you really want to. You know, you can't kill anybody. Not the way you really want to. Well, you know, I mean, if you had a, if you had enough money, you could kill people comfortably. Like, you wouldn't have to hide anything. You could just call the cops, and they would clean it up for you and call you sir when you're done. Yeah. I'm just gonna do this level real quick because it's a, it's a nothing level. I want so much money that I can just say no to anybody and ruin the environment with wild abandon. Whoop. I think the thing's up here anyway. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Need all that shit. Just go straight to this and it shoots out the green box. If you're gonna ruin the environment with wild man, then what do you think you can do first? Uh, just finish off the goddamn pandas. <coughs> just completely ruin them? No, just kill them because they, they have to <laughs> just kill them. Yeah, they just, they have to be convinced to fuck. What kind? Of, what, why would you want a part of that? I don't know. Maybe uh, <laughs> the pandas. I don't. I don't understand the pandas. Like, like, why is it so hard for them to want to fuck? Why is that? Why is that? Why is that a thing? Like, I don't know any animal in the world that doesn't want to increase its survivability rate, but a panda apparently does. It does not want to increase its survivability rate at all in any way, shape, or form. It wants to eat bamboo, and it wants to lay down. And that's it. And that's, don't get us wrong, that is, th those are heroic. <laughs> I mean, that's the dream, guys, but. Yeah. <laughs> but we also have jobs that we have to go to. And if we don't, if we don't take care of the kids we have, when we have them, but like the law gets involved. Yeah. 
It's just they they don't they don't want to they don't want to. That's the thing. Whenever they actually do have children, they take care of them. But but it it takes so much to have them have kids. They sound like like you think if bandits could talk, they'd just be trailer trash. No, because trailer trash has tons of children. No, that like is way true. too many. <laughs> If anything could talk like trailer trash, it would be roaches. Yeah, roaches. Or rats. One of the two. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, we got Amber, Tammy, Summer, Susie, Dakota, Danielle. <laughs> uh, well, that's just, that's just last week. <laughs> Misty Faye. <laughs> Faye go mountain. Do Sierra Miss Dr. Pepper, Mr. Pib, Mrs. Pib. <laughs> Shit, we done run out of colon names. We, 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 name. a... we got the off brand stuff. We got Shasta. We got Shasta. You know it's sad? There actually is a movie. Uh, About Shasta? No, no, there's a movie. I think it's called Where the Heart Is, and it stars, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, fuck. The, the chick who played, uh, Queen Amidala in the new Star Wars movies. Uh, Natalie Portman? Natalie Portman. It stars her, and it's called, uh, Where the Heart Is. Her and that, uh, and Ashley Judd, right? And it's called Where the Heart Is, and it's about this chick who has a baby in the middle of Walmart and becomes, like, semi-famous for it. And, but the the Ashley Judd's character, her uh, every one of her children are named after a candy bar. So there's Baby Ruth, and there's like, <laughs> and there's like Butterfinger. And <laughs> like it's M, &M is the only one who made it out okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he actually made it all the way to a good rap career, but like. <laughs> It's just ridiculous. I couldn't believe that that was real whenever I saw it. I was like, are you fucking serious? If you name your kid Butterfinger, you're just asking for them to get molested. You're not... <laughs> this you're... is my baby boy, Charleston Chew. <laughs> and at no point did social services decide to get involved. No, no not at all. Because it's not illegal to be stupid. <laughs> it's not illegal to be stupid. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You can name your kids after candy bars. You can name your kid after cars you want. And just save the strip club the, the time of just trying to come up with a stripper name for him. Just give him one right off the bat. Oh, God. You know what I would love? I would love somebody who has their children named after, like, bad what hit wonders. <laughs> so, like, one of their kids is named Macarena. And <laughs> uh, one of their kids is named Scatman. It would be awesome to meet a kid named uh, I believe in a thing called love. I believe in a thing called love. Yeah, you know what? You, if you don't like that joke, please comment with another song that the Darkness was famous for, and I'll take <laughs> it back. Well, they do have two of those games, right? Looking at you, CeeLo Green. <laughs> How do I get in there? Go back a little bit. You're not completely. You weren't completely in front of it. That was the problem. You have to be like right in front of it. There you go. Jesus, have damn in Christ. Okay, go through it once. All right, jump through the steps. Go through it again. Should I just jump over him to just... <laughs> you know this door situation. Jump right. through the steps. No, no, no. Hit the block. Now jump through the steps. Go up that. Boom! There you go. I do remember that part of Mario. I'm not, like gonna, this I'm not gonna lie, I remember every single part of this fucking game. I like that this castle has a 70s wood paneling and an exit sign. Uh -huh. An exit sign that's up to code. 
Look at that. It also has fire alarm somewhere in here. And a minimum capacity of 251. Which is the most... Which is <laughs> if you're a business owner or no business owner that has a fucking... Uh, uh, a limit in your building of 251. <laughs> then your building used to be a nail salon. <laughs> oh shit. This is good. Alright, uh. I think we're gonna have to stop this one, but we will be back very shortly. Next time on the video. Alright, we're back. Again, because uh, we just stopped for two seconds. Now we're going to be playing again. My name is Alan Ponce, and his name is Justin Thompson, and I've started the timer for this one because I have not been keeping time, as is my only responsibility for these. <laughs> I've got next to no responsibilities in these, and the making of these, and the editing of these. I don't do any of it. Justin does it, and literally the only thing he ever asks me to do is keep time and I still don't do it. <laughs> so to respect his wishes, I will keep time running in the background, but I will in no way pay attention to it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there we go. Dude, oh, this, oh. New, this new Superman movie is getting weird. The new Superman movie? Yeah. What? Oh, the Superman and Batman one? Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, well, you know what? I... I, uh, I purposely haven't been watching any of the trailers or anything. Like, I, worked, I watched the first one that came out. And then I, 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 I just started to do this with movies. I found out that my movie watching experience, if I watch a trailer one time and then do not pay attention to anything about it until the movie comes out, I enjoy movies, like, a ten times more. Like, so many people... <clears throat> There were, like, like, tons of people that were talking shit on the new Jurassic Park movie. Like, this and that. And I had a fucking blast watching it. But, I mean, it's just... I like movies that fucking are gonna be... Like, that are just fun. Like, I've just become... I've just become more at ease with my movie watching experience, I guess. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh. Completely unrelated, though, if somebody watching can uh, make a gift of when he's uh, collecting those coins, I, I, have a, I have a euphemism for it that is really best illustrated by that because it looks like he's humping his way through to wealth under sheets, just like a porn star. <laughs> and it, it is just beautiful. Uh, I don't... Uh, I, I like the, how, how involved we've become with trailers nowadays, because you can basically surmise the entire plot of the movie from a couple of eagle-eyed viewers, and they'll put their, their, uh, their discovery thing, I guess it's called, on YouTube about, look what you missed here, and this, yeah, and I did that for the Deadpool trailer, but yeah. for the, uh, for the, let's say, for the, uh, for the fucking... Batman vs. Superman, I, I didn't need to look for anybody else's interpretation because I found it on my own. Yeah. And it was just... It was... You're, just not, you're not happy with it, though? You don't think I'm, it's... I, I think the writing is going to be super uh, pointless. Like, it's not too not pointless, pointless, but pointless isn't bad because they've already written... They, they've written it around Superman the Superman, not Superman the Man. You know, like Superman, uh, not a Clark Kent take on it. It's just gonna be. Look at how Superman, he's gonna go and he's gonna be all. He's gonna punch the shit out of Batman, which is why I'm gonna be watching this movie. Don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely gonna watch this movie. But I just wanted something a little bit more in depth. Because we, we keep falling into the same holes in writing Superman in movies, because we just keep writing it as a perspective from the. Uh, from. Well, what here's Superman. Do. Well, here, here's the here's the point. Nobody gives a shit. I give a shit. <laughs> I know, and you're <coughs> one of the few. But I mean, like, it, it's not, and that's not a bad thing. I understand, but like, but like, nobody just just nobody gives a shit about Clark Kent. Nobody cares about him until he turns into Superman. 
Yeah, but uh, but you know hey, what uh, I mean? Because I mean, it's not like it's not like Clark Kent is like as far as uh, like far as like an alter ego is like the most base, boring one of pretty much all time. That's why people don't <coughs> care. They just like I mean like. Like, like, Peter Parker is interesting, and he has interesting things that go on, and his character, and this and that, but, but, like, like fucking, and same thing with Bruce Wayne, but, but, but Clark Kent, nee, he's, uh, he's a reporter, and, uh, I wear glasses, that's why you, why you don't know. Well, that, uh, that's what they've made him into, like, he used to be more than that, he was, a. Uh, Clark Kent was. I think a... you're right. Yeah, I, you're probably right. I, I don't know enough about Superman to even argue the point. You know what I mean? Yeah, Clark Kent was a slice of Americana. He was uh, he's an ideal. He's less of an ideal, more of a person. But that ideal was still set in humility and in responsibility. And he was a he was like Kansas, right? Yeah. And he he's got this Kansas upbringing. He's got he's from the country, secluded, and all this stuff. And he's got. That uh, he's got the the modesty of uh, a country upbringing, <coughs> the modesty of a mouse. Yeah, uh, and the modesty of a country upbringing into which he has these responsibilities that he has to meet. But they never talk to him like he was a god. They talk to him like he had. He always had these responsibilities. And in the movie, you see them. You see him interacting with his stepmom or Earth mom, whatever you want to call it. And she's talking to she's talking to Superman, and he's sitting there hovering, and that's just arrogant as shit as far as uh, writing goes. Because Superman, Clark Kent would never just sit there talking to his mom and hover there. He would be on the ground and see her eye to eye because he's they're equals to him. Right. Like he's not not even equals. He's a uh, she's a, a um uh, an elder that he has to listen to that has wisdom that he doesn't. No matter how powerful how Superman is and how much how much he, he does and saves, he's always gonna need her help. Well, well, I think that's more. I think that that gets more into the more into the Smallville almost type aspect of Superman. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. like, like really early on, Clark wasn't. I, I'll give it to him as far as because I actually did watch Smallville. Some that actually was kind of interesting, but but now that he's just a reporter, pretty much, I, it's not it's not the same, I guess, to other people. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna do this uh, little secret real mm -hmm. quick before I actually play a level. Uh, you like being able to. Get the Yoshi and fly whenever you want, right? Uh, I'm moving by sacrificial land, and yeah. <laughs> Alright. Then we're gonna do that. Lots of people actually don't know about this secret. Uh, <laughs> that sounds super molestery. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I am in a dungeon with ghosts. Children, I guess. So. <laughs> Damn. Those are, oh, I just thought of something. Those are ghosts, and ghosts come from dead people. Yes, they Those do. Those are a lot of dead people. That's lots of dead people. Lots and lots of dead people. Oh, whoa, wait, I got a bonus game. Yeah. Oops. Uh, oops. With the, oops. uh... Oops. 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 With the movie, it's gonna make people more interested in, <laughs> in, right. in the comic book, and that's awesome. You know, anything to get people reading comics. But it's they, they're not gonna be getting what they expect because Superman has a has had a huge power down. Not even power down. He's had a he had a huge mellowing for the times because for a while Superman has had this problem that he's just too powerful. There's no problem he can't solve. And uh, like uh, like the guys on the death that brought it up, he's limitless. He's yeah yeah that's the that's the problem. It's like <clears throat> like 
it's almost pointless. Like, I mean, that's the way. The, the way I feel is it's almost pointless reading a fucking Superman comic because it's almost like he's never <clears throat> really going to be in any trouble. Well, not anymore. Actually, they did something really cool, in which they did the. Uh, they, it's, he, he he gained a new power, and you get, you kind of grow him at that if you're listening. But he's not he's not a new power in the way that Superman is used to getting powers, and it's only made him stronger. Like if you watched All Star Superman, there's a scene in there where he saves this uh, he saves this space capsule full of scientists from going into the sun by, and I'm I swear to God by extending his electromagnetic field like a net and dragging them. Ugh. Yeah, and that's exactly what everybody else did. But now with the solar flare power, he's, he can store up energy and then release it all at once, like a bomb, like a solar bomb. And it leaves him weak and vulnerable for 24 hours afterwards, and it, it, it really brings him down to a completely different level. And nowadays... All of our heroes are starting to come up, uh, come up really short, like with Bill Cosby. And I use this term, and I, I put this guy coming up at, in that category because, well, he might not be a hero in a conventional sense. A bunch of people looked up to him, Jared Goddamn Bogle. Yeah, and he was, and that, look, we never imagined, we never looked at, I never looked at the guy, and thought, you know what? I bet he liked to fuck kids. If anybody was going to be guilty of that one in my head, it was going to be the guy, the Ronald McDonald guy. Because he's a clown, and you're begging for it at that point. Sorry, that was a tasteless rape joke. But, <laughs> I, I regret nothing. <laughs> and, all of our heroes are are starting to show that they're very, not only are they fall, fallible, but they are they, they are just as vulnerable to the worst parts of humanity as we are, and we expected something better from them. Well, Superman, he's, he's been brought down to our level. Like, he, he's... Well, see, that, but even then, but even in that aspect... By the way, how are we on time? Are we good? Oh, God, I've been supposed to be keeping that. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I told you. I have more than 9 minutes and 32 seconds. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. Uh, but... Even in that, even in that, like, like, it's like, yeah, he may be vulnerable for 24 hours afterwards. But at the same time, it's like, he has to do something unbelievably massive, like, before that even happens. He, he essentially has to take out a planet before anybody can hurt him. And, and not to, not to be rude to Superman. How often do you really need that power? And why would you want it if you were Superman? That's how your entire fucking family died. <laughs> why would you want that ability? Because it's <laughs> effective. <laughs> Look at the Apocalypse of the Planet Apocalypse. Yeah, that's one that deserves it. But he never does it because he's better than us. But not only that, it's uh, also in the comics what's, what's happened is that uh, Lois Lane has outed Superman as Clark Kent. So he's wanted, he's torn between these two parts. He wants, people want, to, want him to pay for his crimes because uh, he has absolutely committed crimes against, uh, against, he has, against the world with this fucking destruction. You can't just punch shit and call it justice. And that's what into he, orbit. <laughs> uh, a lot of times into orbit, yes. <laughs> How many satellites we have around there? That's not cool, dude. Yeah. See? And the, he's finally being held accountable, and that really is reflecting on the times that we're living in right now, is that more people are being held accountable every day for shit that not only happened a long time ago, but happened, period. You can't just say, well, that was a long time ago anymore, just like Superman. He used to be that guy, but now he's not, and I, I respect that more, and seeing as this movie is going to happen within uh, in this year, and Superman has changed a lot, they're just sticking with this whole omnipresent super, uh, super god, and he's just not that anymore. 
more. And these guys are. It feels like if they don't keep to the uh, keep to the character, they're kind of talking down to you. They're like, hey, have a look at these. Look at this asshole. Watch him. Want to watch him punch stuff? <laughs> yeah, I kind of do. But for fuck you, I am more than just a punch happy a punch happy person. I want I want my characters to have a little bit of substance because they're well, dealing with us. Well, with the UFC now, punches are so uh, so easy to come by. Ronda Rousey's for another for another <laughs> another uh, discussion. Well, okay, because well, I've got an entire theory, about, an entire uh, thought process on Ronda Rousey and women, how they're being viewed now as people. Oh, they are. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that was very weird. I'm going to retract what I said until I know what the end of your conversation is. <laughs> I, I'm not going to agree with you. you. Don't pick a side just yet. Yeah, I'm not going to agree with you blindly. I, I was about to, but then I went, you know what? Uh, that was kind of weird. Uh, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to hold off my agreement with you, Alan. Smart move. <laughs> <laughs> they're, being, they're being viewed as people uh, now. And I was like, yeah! And I'm like, wait, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches be shopping. <laughs> <laughs> women be shopping, baby. <laughs> you know that women be shopping? Because <laughs> women be shopping. Women be shopping, baby. Shop, 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 shop. <laughs> that was the best joke ever written. <laughs> Now he's like, 850 Cent even talks about it. Take it to the candy shop. I always shop. Because <laughs> what's the me shopping, baby? I let you lick the lollipop. <laughs> Don't oh. you stop. Shop, shop, shop. <laughs> Keep going to hit the spot. Keep going to you hit the spot. Let's stop. Let's spot the gap. <laughs> Ah, no. Oh, God. It was a dick joke. Yeah, I got it. Uh, I didn't I didn't mean to, but it just kind of worked out that way. And you don't, you don't just kind of just blindside yourself with that kind of stuff. You just say thank you to God that you got the opportunity to do a joke that you didn't mean to and it worked out a dick joke. <laughs> you just say thank you and move on with your life. Let it be shot. That's so ridiculous. I love that fucking thing. <laughs> oh man, thank God that's recorded. I'm gonna need to. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna need to revisit that later <laughs> for a bit. I think there's something there. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> oh good, you got it. Let's see. Right. Now let's do that. Yeah. Uh huh. Whoop. Yeah. All right. Invincibility. We haven't had the star yet, have we? This is the first time we no, had the star. No, we've had the star before. I've just been squandered on me. <laughs> Alright. Well, we are 14, at the end. 18. We're finally at the end of this level. But, we're also at the end of this video! Oh, isn't that sad? Well, it's okay. We're just filling time because we've got 40 seconds left. Yep, we are. Alright, fuck it. Let's cut it early. Uh, I have been Justin Thompson. Still am currently. This is Alan Pop. Last I checked. Uh, we will see you next time on um, the Comics Play. Yay, and keep a lookout. We will also be coming out with new video skit based stuff. Yeah. And keep a lookout for that. If you want to be in it, too bad. No, you can't.